that is that there are a number of ways to disrupt these loops and packages of our DNA. And the most effective way to do that, if you want to age fast, is to break your DNA. Uh, a broken chromosome is a disaster for a cell. It'll die if it doesn't fix it. And in the panic of trying to ligate and glue back the DNA, these loops and these structures, these bound up loops, um, they actually become unraveled, which is a good thing initially, but once you've fixed the chromosome and joined the DNA back together, then you have to put it all, package it back together. The loops have to go back to being loops and the packages have to go back to being packages. If you don't do that over time, as I mentioned, it's like scratches on a record or scratches on a CD. The cell can't read the right genes at the right time and cells lose their ability to function. And mm -hmm. that is aging. Do you think to some extent this device right here and our laptops and all this frequency that's coming at us and potentially 5G, which has been banned in a couple of nations, including Israel, do you think this is partly to blame for some of the information loss? Uh, well, I think that radiation in general is bad if it, if it disrupts uh, these loops. And it, it's unclear. Nobody's ever studied uh, that kind of thing. So what I'd love to know is, does 5G cause a cell to get older, faster? We can oh. test that in my lab. Within, we could know it within a week. Well, the, the reason that, that my theory is, is important here is that if you just think that aging is caused by um, mutations leading, uh, or, or if the only thing you're worried about is cancer, then you'll miss the effects on aging. Right. Okay? So, you know, if you take um, most radiation emitting devices, whether it's a scanner at the airport or, or an x-ray machine, they'll test that on, on animals and, and ask, does it cause cancer, yes or no? And if it doesn't, then it's all good, right? It's not mm -hmm. cancer causing. But as my book explains, that's only half of the problem that you need to look at. The other half is aging can be accelerated. And in my lab, we've tested this idea. We've deliberately cut chromosomes in, an, in a mouse. And guess what happens to them? They get what? old. They, they get 50% older than their brothers and sisters. So broken chromosomes and disrupting these loops definitely causes acceleration of the aging clock. And we need to look harder at whether devices that emit radiation can accelerate aging, and nobody's looking. Well, well I'm, I'm pretty nervous about x-rays. Um, I know they're important, but sometimes they're used uh, overzealously, for example. I think my dentist overuses x-rays. Um, and I'm not sure if it's to pay for the machine they bought or what, but uh, I tried to refuse to get an x-ray because I know what x-rays do to aging. It's clear to me that they accelerate the clock. And when I refused, they said, no, you have to do it. There's no question. I was forced into getting an x-ray over my own will. Um, and I talk about this in the book that um, as, as much as we need and love the medical community, there are some practices that need to be revised and, and re-examined. So x-rays is one, and I think for women, especially with the mammograms, that's a big one. Are there other areas in the medical field that, that worry you that actually create aging? Like, what about meds? What about all the pharmaceutical drugs? Right. Well, these are drugs are typically used to save people's lives. The one that I'm going to mention would be Dr. Rubison. A lot of the, the cancer treatments, the chemotherapies, uh, are intentionally damaging DNA mm -hmm. and breaking chromosomes in their effort to selectively kill the cancer cells, which divide very quickly and are susceptible to these drugs. But we now know that that accelerates aging in the rest of the body. The same way these mice that I mentioned, we can damage their chromosomes and accelerate aging. The same happens to patients that get chemotherapy. Now that's important because you, you know if without chemotherapy you, you might die, so it's it's a life saving treatment. But the side effect is pretty horrible too. It increases the chance of future cancers, and it leads to accelerated aging. So I would love to be able to find ways to prevent and treat cancer without damaging the DNA. Mm -hmm. And so there are some new new 
avenues. So immunotherapy seems yes. to be pretty promising. So that could be um, an area that hopefully one day does away with what are fairly barbaric drugs. Okay.